class. Today we are going to start making the Great Wave, uh, our own version, originally painted by Hakusai um, from Japan. So when we are done, it's going to be painted on uh, aluminum foil, so it'll look embossed. This is about what it'll look like when it's done. Um, I'm going to show you today how to do a different version. You all may choose to do either the version with the cloud in it or with a sun. I'm going to show you guys how to do the one with the sun today. And that's going to be entirely up to you which one you want to do. The one with the sun is going to take a little bit more time. Um, you guys should have done your drawing practice this week on how to do this so that we can do this on our canvas. Today, your supplies are going to be your canvas board, uh, a pencil. You guys will be using a pencil with an eraser. I will be using a Sharpie so that you guys can see a little easier. Uh, if you're going to add the sun, you're going to need a ruler. Uh, you're going to need a hot glue gun with an extra glue stick. And I will go over the safety rules of that in this video as well. And you're going to need a decent sized piece of tin foil, not too big, not too small. So first, we're going to get started by drawing the great wave onto our canvas board. Once again, you guys are going to be using pencil with an eraser. I'm going to use Sharpie so that you guys can see it a little better. We're going to turn our canvas landscape. It's not a huge canvas. I believe this is an 8 by 10. Um, so landscape is just going to be a little bit longer than the portrait side. So long ways, you're going to look about halfway up. And just like we did for the uh, drawing tutorial, we're going to come up. Remember, this is a little smaller than what we used. Uh, so you're not going to go quite as far with our wave. And then we're going to come down and swell up again over here. because so we have another swelling wave over here. Then we're going to add our middle section and our Mount Fuji. Give that a simplistic ice cap. Now remember that we are going to be using hot glue on this. So we don't want to make this super complicated with lots and lots and lots of tiny details because it will be really hard to outline. Um, I'm going to come back and go ahead and add our wave that's down here in the corner. And now our boat. So we draw what looks like a bit of a smile that points up this direction. I'm going to draw a couple little lines in between for our seats. Then we're going to draw the bottom of the boat. Now, when you do this, make sure you're drawing lightly with your pencil so that you can easily erase if you feel like you've messed up. Here we're going to go ahead and add another wave that comes up and down in towards our canoe. And then we're going to add the foamy tops of this. Like I said, really simple lines so that we can easily put the hot glue on them. Do the same here. Our foam top to the wave. Then one up here that's gonna start around the edge, just past the edge of Mount Fuji. And we're gonna add a foam top here as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a foam top on this one too. Okay, now for those of you that are going to uh, go ahead and draw the cloud. Add your cloud up here. Um, but I'm going to show you how to draw the sun in the background. So one thing we're going to do is take and draw a circle that doesn't quite completely go through. And then I'm going to add about the middle. I'm going to start adding some rays that come outward. And remember that this one will take a little bit more time than the one that is just a cloud, but it does look really neat when it's all completed. I'm just going to kind of move around the board. Oops. Let me 
on canvas. There we go. That's better. Create these big, wide rays of sun. Make sure they look like they're coming from the actual um, sun itself. Some of these are going to look like they're coming from behind the mountain, which is what they're supposed to look like. I'm going to do the same on this side. We're going behind the wave. We don't go over top of the wave. We're going behind the wave. Because this is the great wave, and it is very exaggerated. It looks like it's coming to crash down on Mount Fuji, one of the tallest points in the world. That's why this was such an interesting idea because Mount Fuji is such a massive mountain. And to think that there would be a wave that great in size would be pretty interesting. So now we have these nice set of rays. Um, and the last thing we're gonna do is add our motion waves uh, and our motion lines to the waves themselves in order to create movement within the piece. So I'm going to come and make these curved lines just like we did in the drawing tutorial to create a sense of movement. Try to make these about the same width apart as drawing them. And they're just going to curve. said I'm going to end up doing this tutorial the complete one in a few parts because it does take time um, to finish everything especially since we're using hot glue and there we go I have my movement lines and my waves so now I'm going to go over really quickly um, the safety rules for our hot glue guns uh, I do have high and low temperature hot glue gun. We're going to try to use these on low temperature because there's less chance of uh, getting burnt. It is really important that you never put your hands around this area. You're not going to touch this. You're not going to test it. Um, I will be there the entire time to make sure that everything goes well. Um, we want to keep our hands down here. You do have to wait for this to warm up a little bit. I'm going to put mine on high so that I can go through this quickly. It'll take a little bit longer on low, but um, it'll be safer to use. Uh, we want to make sure that we're not messing around. We don't sling this around. And when you apply glue, even if you mess up, leave it. Do not touch it. It is extremely hot. Extremely hot. So we just leave the glue. It can be peeled off later if there is a mistake leave it there. It's okay. The little strings, leave them there. Make sure that you don't have your hand down when you're applying this glue. So what we're going to end up doing is putting the glue around all of the lines we added. And this takes a bit. You have to take your time. I was able to get uh, some hot glue guns that have a more narrow opening so that we can do a little bit more of the fine line work. A little bit easier to use than other ones when it comes to doing this kind of project. Take your time. Every single line that you drew should end up covered with your glue. And I will admit, your hand gets tired after a while because um, you really got to use those hand muscles to get this done. So you may end up wanting to uh, use both hands at some point. Because it does get exhausting. 
every single line we've got. We're going to cover in the hot glue. And I'm gonna come back in the next tutorial and show you guys what to do next with your aluminum foil.